today's video, we're going to talk about how to help a ferret that's drowning. Ferrets tend to be pretty good swimmers. They're not excellent, but they're definitely capable. However, they can't really last for, for more than a few minutes of swimming. After those few minutes, a ferret will become fatigued, and if it's unable to stand or breathe or hold its head up above the water and breathe, then that can lead to it drowning. Some examples of where ferrets can drown are pools, baths, buckets of water, dishwashers, toilets, and other pools of water in or around the house. Some signs of a ferret that could have drowned include being unable to breathe and move or gagging or gasping for air. If you have found a ferret that has drowned, and want to do some first aid on it, the best thing to do is to check in its mouth to make sure there are no foreign bodies in it and also swing it lightly upside down. This will hopefully drain some of the water out of its lungs. <coughs> Wrap the ferret in a rag or a blanket to keep it warm. Oh, look at you. You look so cute. She's not really playing drowned, is she? Hey, you're not cooperating here. <laughs> I'm not going to drown her for the sake of this video. <laughs> kids these days. Pfft. Attention spans like... <sighs> and then rush your ferret to the vet. If you're in a... if you're on holiday or somewhere remote where there's no chance of getting your ferret to a vet, then there are some things that you can do but you have to be really really careful. In this case, after doing what I said before, gently lay the ferret on its back Look in its mouth to make sure that it doesn't have any foreign objects and close its mouth. And then very gently blow a tiny amount of air through its nose. Now you have to be really careful here because a ferret's lung capacity is a lot smaller than a human's and what you see in movies for humans, for example, is not what you should be doing for ferrets. For ferrets, it's a tiny amount of air because the last thing you want to do is to damage their lungs as well. And it's literally like... That's how little it needs to be. Stop and check if it worked. Repeat if necessary. If the ferret's heart is not beating, then you could also try massaging its chest lightly to see if you can start it up. So the ferret's heart is about here. Good girl, Yuki. He's a good girl. However, if its heart's not beating and it's not breathing, then you probably don't have too much of a chance of resuscitating it. To prevent these things, these horrible things from happening, to prevent your ferret from drowning, always supervise your ferret when it's out of its cage or when it's playing or with others. And also ferret-proof the home or check where it's going to be playing to make sure that there are no pools of water that it could get into and potentially drown. Now I know that in summer we like to leave little containers of water out for our ferrets so that they can lie in or drink from. Just make sure that it's not too deep and that they can easily get out of the container. So also double check any dishwashers or washing machines before you switch them on. Because ferrets like to get into everything. <laughs> Thanks for watching today's video, I hope you liked it. For tomorrow's video, let's think about how we'd help a ferret that had been poisoned. What would you do? Let's discuss this on the Ferret World Facebook page and also in the comments section below. We'll see you tomorrow.